Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. We're going to divide this tutorial into three parts. In part one, we are going to learn how we can create a new project, learn different elements containing different project folders, and even learn how we can add custom elements. We're also going to create a button which, when clicked, will toast a message. Finally, we are going to create an emulator and learn our project in the emulator. So let's get started. Create a new project. We're going to create an empty activity. We're going to call the project beginner. And we're going to finish. Our project is building. Let's wait for it to finish. Build complete. So as you can see, this is our project. Now manifest folder. Manifest folder contain manifest file is where we declare our permission. For instance, we can declare this is permission internet. Our activity are also defined here. You can see main activity. Java folder contains Java files. We can have our less folder. In Rob, we have our file, our images, XML, SVG. We put them here. Our layout, this is where we put our XML files. Our values is where we put our colors, strings, styles. So we are going to add an element in our activity menu. We have different layouts. We have constraint layout, linear layout, even how relative layout. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use relative layout. Relative layout. I'm also going to add a button. Button, we're going to lab content. Lab content text will be submit. You can give it a background color, color, then you can get a preview here. I need this color, I need the text to be white. So, color, let me define this color now. Color here, so color name color white so here I'll say add color then color white I want to center it vertical true and I also want to center it horizontal true I'm going to let me give it an ID here ID button Submit to assign some actions to the button. Just go to your activity. I'm going to define button, button, submit. So, button submit equals find view by id r dot id dot button submit. So, when this button is clicked, it's dot set new view we are going to show a message toast dot make text get application context then we can say button clicked then toast dot length long if you want it to stay for long and length short if you want it to do the message to just display and disappear so let me give it long then share Let's learn our project and see what we got. Learn. I've already some created virtual device, but we are going to create a new one. We're going to create Nexus 5. We're going to give it, uh, we can create even Nexus five times. I'm going to use Marshmallow. Once we have downloaded Marshmallow. Yeah, I have Marshmallow here. And then, going to call it uh, virtual device then finish creating android virtual device let's wait for it to finish as you can see it has already finished so we are going to learn our project
this is our new emulator you can use it to test your project development so let's see starting in our next part we are going to use the same emulator we are not going to create a new one so our emulator is now ready so let's wait for it to install storing launching ah we got our activity here we got our application installed so when you click the button you can see a toast message button clicked so thank you for watching in our next part we're going to, to learn how we can open a new activity when we click this button and how we can pass data to the activity stay tuned for more tutorials